All right, welcome back. We're going to talk a little bit more about the adjustment layer that we just applied to this particular image. You'll notice if I just click down here for a second, and I'm not selecting the particular image that we're working with here, you will see that in the adjustments window it gives us all those options. Hey, what about the information that we added just before? Well, as soon as you select this window, ah uh, yes, we go back to this moment in time. And what we see here is 5727. That's what it was originally. But if I wanted to, at this point in time, unlike going to the image adjustments over here, that's done permanently. Well, here we can come in and we can further adjust this. For example, let's say I wanted to uh, boost that up a little bit more and I'll bring the contrast a little lower if I wanted to. And if this is something that we liked, well, you know, you've got something in place and it's all good. If we save this, because it's got layers, it would save as a Photoshop document, a PSD, rather than a JPEG, as you see here. And you'll notice that as soon as you go to File Save, it'll ask you to save a Photoshop document. I'm just going to cancel that for a second. So now that we actually have this information in place, let me show you a little bit about what some of these tools do and some of the options do inside of this window. Well, first and foremost, you will see that there's a couple in here. Number one, right now, this layer, as I mentioned, is by default affecting every layer that's underneath it. Well, we only have one layer underneath it, so that's not really showing me much. However, if we did have more than one layer, this little icon right here will be able to say, hey, let it affect all the layers below or clip to clip uh, click to clip a layer which would allow it to affect just one another way to do that is to position your mouse right in between these two layers and if you press alt on a pc or option on a mac you'll see that same icon again and that will cause your adjustment layer to affect only the one that's directly underneath it and nothing else however do remember, by default, adjustment layers affect every layer that's underneath it. All right, well, let's look at another one of these icons here, and you'll see the simple togger, toggle layer visibility. If I click on it, that'll just hide the layer, and you'll notice that we go back to what it was before we applied the adjustment. What about this little icon here? Well, this one also shows you, remember, I made some changes just now, and if I click and hold on this icon, you'll notice it's showing me what the previous information looked like. Here I'm at 75 minus 17. Well, just before I changed it, it looked like this. So you can decide which one you like. If you remember, there's less contrast in this new one and more contrast in the previous one. So if you do want to revert to that previous one, all you got to do is to click on this icon to reset to the previous state cancel the current settings in other words and now we're back to 5727 I want to go back to normal click on it again and it re resets everything to zero so command Z or control Z on your Mac on your PC and as you can see here I'm going back to what it was so if I do want to keep it at 5727 I'm just going to do this and that's a great way that you can work with and apply these things as well. One last thing, if you wanted to change the name of the layer itself, right here it just says brightness and contrast 1, and all you got to do in order to do that is to double click this. So I can name this, uh, you know, bright BG uh, for background, for example, and that will rename your file. What's this little square right here? Well, if you click on this little square, this is a layer mask that has been applied to this particular file. Here is the layer thumbnail. Here is the layer mask. And what that is doing, you see here, when I click on this, it's showing me layer zero. I can use it to rename that layer. We rename this one just by clicking on it right here. And if I click on this area there, I can delete the entire bright BG mask, which is not something I want to do. And if I go back just a second or two here, if I say Option Command Z, I can go back more than one step. There we 
go. So depending on what you wanted and how you wanted this to look and how it's going to be applied, it all depends on how you're going to work with these elements. Now you'll notice, again, you can just de delete that by clicking on it, but also notice this. This layer mask, which we'll get into a little bit later, I'll show you more about how layer masks can be applied to anything, not just an adjustment layer. If you wanted to get rid of it because you're not working on it, you can, you can right click on it and say delete the layer mask. Simple as that. Or as, a, as you saw just a second ago, I could drag it there. I'll rename this again. So let's say bright BG what I wanted to call it. And you'll notice if you're not using the layer mask, well, then why not just rename it like this so you have more room to see your names. And it still does exactly the same thing that we'd seen before. So we'll learn more about layer masks in a future lesson. But when we do come back, we're going to be talking a little bit more about how we can work with our adjustment layers and some good things that we can do with it. And we'll do that as soon as we return.